Give to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and to God the things that are God's. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And blessed be all of you with them, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known from you, no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, Jesus Christ, to save us from our sins, to be our advocate in heaven, and to bring us to eternal life. Let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolve to keep God's commandments, and to live in love and peace with all. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of his great mercy has promised forgiveness of sins to all those who with hearty repentance and true faith turn unto him, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and bring you to everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. Lord, have mercy. treasures of darkness and witness hidden in secret places, 
so that you may know that it is I, the Lord, the God of Israel, who call you by your name. For the sake of my servant Jacob and Israel, my chosen, I call you by your name. I surname you, though you do not know me, I am the Lord, and there is no other besides me. There is no God. I harm you, though you do not know me, so that they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west, there is no one besides me. I am the Lord, and there is no other. I form light and create darkness. I make real and create woe. I, the Lord, do all these things. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Psalm 96, 1 to 9, let us recite the psalm responsibly alternating verses. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the whole earth. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. Proclaim the good news of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations and his wonders among all peoples. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. He is more to be feared than all gods. As for all the gods of the nations, they are but idols, but it is the Lord who made the heavens. Oh, the majesty and the magnificence of his presence. Oh, the power and the splendor of his sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord, you families of the peoples. Ascribe to the Lord honor and power. Ascribe to the Lord the honor due his name. Bring offerings and come into his courts. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The second lesson is taken from the letter of Paul to the Thessalonians. Paul, Silvanus, and Timothy, to the church of the Thessalonians, in God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, grace to you and peace. We always give thanks to God for all of you and mention you in our prayers, constantly remembering before our God and Father your work of faith and labor of love and steadfastness of hope in our Lord Jesus Christ. For we know, brothers and sisters, beloved by God, that he has chosen you because our message of the gospel came to you, not in word only, but also in power and in the Holy Spirit with full conviction, just as you know what kind of person we proved to be among you for your sake. And you became imitators of us and of the Lord, for in spite of persecution, he received the word with joy and inspired by the Holy Spirit, so that you became an example to all believers in Macedonia and Achaia. For the word of the Lord has sounded forth from you, not only in Macedonia and Achaia, but in every place your faith in God has become, become known, so that we have no need to speak about it. For the people of those regions report to us what kind of welcome we had among you and how you turned to God from idols to serve a living and true God and to wait for his Son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, Jesus, who rescues us from the wrath that is coming. The word of the Lord. Thanks. 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 Thanks.
Lord be with you. And also with you. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord Christ. The Pharisees went and plotted to entrap Jesus in what he, in what he said. So they sent their disciples to him, along with the Herodian, saying, Teacher, we know that you are sincere and teach the way of God in accordance with truth, and show deference to no one, for you do not regard people with partiality. Tell us then what you think. Is it lawful to pay taxes to the emperor or not? But Jesus, aware of their malice, said, why are you putting me to the test, you hypocrites? Show me the coin used for the tax. And they brought him a denarius. Then he said to them, Whose head is this, and whose title? They answered, The emperor's. Then he said to them, Give therefore to the emperor the things that are the emperor's, and to God the things that are God's. When they heard this, they were amazed. And they left him and went away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Christ. In the name of the living God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. When they heard this, they were amazed. And they went away. Wow. Jesus was a swift talker. You may even think he might have been a politician for, before the Senate committee. I say that in jest. But nonetheless, Jesus was put on the spot, and they were trying to trap him with his own words, particularly when it came to Caesar. Is it lawful to pay taxes to the emperor or not? Hmm. Well, in the Jewish imagination, Was a king more mighty than the Holy One of Israel? Well, let's take a look at that first lesson referencing Cyrus, the king or emperor of Persia, who in Isaiah's account, speaking for God, says that God has chosen him, has anointed him, which would mean Messiah, to carry out God's will. Now, there's no recognition on the part of Cyrus that he's doing any such thing. But God is using Cyrus to accomplish the divine will. And what is that will? To free Israel. Cyrus, from Persia, comes in, conquers Babylon, and returns the Jewish remnant to Israel. He's accomplished God's plan. So, the Jewish imagination recognized that kings, even kings that don't acknowledge Yahweh, the Holy One, could be accomplishing Yahweh's plan. It could be true today, too. But more importantly for the Jewish imagination is to see the emperor, Caesar, who claims not only to be a mighty leader and emperor, but also to be a god. And in the Jewish imagination, no one can place themselves before God. So Jesus asks them to give them the coin. And whose image, whose title? This image, which is a no-no for the Jews, to create an image of human likeness, so he cannot endorse that. But whose image is it, he asks? Oh, it's Caesar's. And what's his title? Son of God, or the Divine One. What's he going to do? He's going to get trapped. And using the King James rendition, he says, Render unto Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and unto God the things that are God's. Render unto Caesar things that are Caesar's. What, what belongs to Caesar? But more importantly, what belongs to God? Let's stick with this 
language of image. But we've heard the image on the coin. But for all faithful Jews and Christians and Muslims, we believe that human beings are created in the image of God. We bear God's likeness. Unfortunately, not perfectly so. Only Jesus does that. Nonetheless, we are created in the image and likeness of God. So whose image is it that we bear? God's. So we can quibble about money, mammon, and say, well, fine, the government printed it, the government put its mark on it, it belongs to the government. But God made us. And God put the divine imprint on us, the divine image which we share. So the question, whose image do we bear, is probably more important. Are you made in the image and likeness of God? And to whom do you belong? Render unto God the things that belong to God. That's us. We can quibble about taxes all we want, but who we are, ourselves, our souls and bodies, is what belong to God. And we owe God, not taxes, but our very selves. And that is what we are called to do as disciples of Jesus, to offer ourselves to God to accomplish God's will. Now Cyrus didn't know he was doing it, we ask that God's will be done. Every time we gather and pray the Lord's Prayer, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And whenever we do that, we are asking God to use us to accomplish that will. It would be rather pathetic if we wanted God's will to be accomplished, but we weren't willing to participate in it. So we bear the image of God, we belong to God, and we seek to do God's will. Amen. 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 Let us now stand and reaffirm our faith in the words of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made of one being in the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The prayers of the people are form six. In peace we pray to you, Lord God, for all people in their daily life and work, for our families, friends, and neighbors, and for those who are alone, for this community, the nations, and the world, for all who work for justice, freedom, and peace, for the just and proper use of your creation, for the victims of hunger, fear, injustice, and oppression, for all who are in danger, sorrow, or any kind of trouble. For those who minister to the sick, the friendless, 
and the needy. For the peace and unity of the Church of God. For all who proclaim the gospel and all who seek the truth. For Michael, our presiding bishop, for Alan and Gail, our bishops, for Walter, our priest, and for all bishops and other ministers. For all who serve God in Christ's church. For the special needs and concerns of this congregation, remembering especially Bill Hurst, Mary Lou Morrison, Rick Nisteri, Greg Taylor, Joe Brown, Danny Sharip, Martin Corbin, Joan Kramer, Herman Emanuel, Farmer Murphy, Bill Moore, James Grady Fielding, Mike Monahan, Robert Raymond, Bill Moody, Daniel Barnaby, Ray Neuer, Jennifer Novia, Dan Gaspari, Barbara Long, Liam Hood, Peggy Smith, Chris Wells, Bob Marino, Jack Blaze, Claire Dominicus, Robert Castle, Rose Davin, Kay and Frank Rolari, Julie Murphy, and MJ Burke. All these and all those whom we, we hold in our hearts this day. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. Your mercy is great. Your mercy is great. We thank you, Lord, for all the blessings of this life, and we will exalt you, O God, our King. And, and praise, praise your name forever and ever. We pray for all who have died, that they may have a place in your eternal kingdom. Lord, Lord let your let kindness be upon them. Who put Lord, their trust in you. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I give to you, my own peace I leave with you. Regard not our sins, but the faith of your church and give us the peace and unity of that heavenly city, where with the Father and the Holy Spirit you live and reign now and forever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Please be seated. As we strive to regain some normalcy, we have um, instituted again our in-pew collection, which is sort of odd because most of you are participating from home. So you can mail in the donation or you can do it online. But our focus for the month of October is Pine Street Inn. Historically, the parish had a long-standing ministry of making sandwiches for Pine Street Inn, and we were asked to stop when we couldn't do so in a commercial kitchen. But nonetheless, as a recognition of that legacy, we are focusing this October on assisting Pine Street Inn. So we've got, what, two more weeks um, for our collection, and that will go over uh, in November. Let your light so shine before others that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we partake of his heavenly body as he participated in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of heaven. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. 
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become the cup of salvation. Let Blessed be God forever. May the Lord accept this our sacrifice of thanksgiving for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all of Christ's holy church. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Our worship continues with Eucharistic Prayer 5 from the Anglican Church of Canada. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. We give you thanks and praise, Almighty God, for the gift of a world full of wonder and for our life which comes from you. By your power, you sustain the universe. Glory to you forever and ever. You created us to love you with all our heart and to love each other as ourselves. But we rebel against you by the evil that we do. In Jesus, your Son, you bring healing to our world and gather us into one great family. Therefore, with all who serve you on earth and in heaven, we praise your wonderful name as we say, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. We give you thanks and praise, loving Father, because in sending Jesus, your Son, to us, you showed us how much you love us. He cares for the poor and the hungry, he suffers with the sick and the rejected. Betrayed and forsaken, he did not strike back, but overcame hatred with love. On the cross, he defeated the power of sin and death. By raising him from the dead, you show us the power of your love to bring life to all your people. Glory to you forever and ever. On the night before, he gave up his life for us. Jesus at supper with his friends took bread and gave you thanks, broke it, gave it to them, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which is given for you. After supper, Jesus took the cup of wine, said the blessing, and gave it to his friends and said, Drink this, all of you. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which is shed for you and for many, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Gracious God, with this bread and wine, we celebrate the death and resurrection of Jesus, and we offer ourselves to you in him. Send your Holy Spirit on us and on these gifts, that we may know the presence of Jesus in the breaking of bread and share in the life of the family of your children. Glory to you forever and ever. Father, you call us to be your servants. Fill us with the courage and love of Jesus, that all the world may gather in joy at the table of your kingdom. We sing your praise, Almighty Father, through Jesus our Lord, in the power of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Glory to you forever and ever. Amen. Now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, 
and the power and the glory forever and ever. Hallelujah! Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us be in peace. Hallelujah. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit 
be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.